This is Night Attack of the P Werewolf. Get it at otfi.com slash werewolf. How did it go again? Uh, they say the bigger the pain, the bigger the pill, baby. I'm the P Werewolf. Werewolf, werewolf, with that P on him. Werewolf, werewolf, comes up to your door, you tell him to go to hell. Werewolf, but don't say it to a hellhound, because they're dumber than black cats. Yeah, what's that? A hair werewolf, or a pea werewolf. <laughs> Nerd attack! Well, that's kind of fun, isn't it? Anyway, see you later. Oh my god, that's National Treasure Stephen Cogswell, and it is Tuesday night! Which means it is go time for Night Attack, when we all set fire to the internet. Hello, you beautiful folks. My name is Brian Rushwood, live in Austin, Texas. Joined, as always, by my BFF in Oak AK. It's J-R-Y. I said Oak AK, so you got to have double oak in your oak. Uh, oh, that's dude. what the folk. Well, the good news is I'm hard as an old growth here for uh, this uh, front page edition of... Uh, the, the, the Night Attack program. Hey, Brian, it's a normal show for normal people, right? Hey, man, I'm certainly not under any pressure to be funnier than usual. How about you? Uh, me either. Either. Uh, either. I, can I can I tell you to get, like, hyped up for the for the Twitch uh, adventure? I went back and I rewatched last week's uh, <laughs> recounting of Apollo 13, and uh, the, the guy at the Buffalo thing kind of stands on its own. Uh, it's I'm super stoked, man. It feels... For the people who don't know, for the people who haven't seen us, uh, we're yeah. kind of OG. We were Twitch before Twitch was even a thing on the actual company of Twitch, right? No, uh, listen, I said this before. I went to TwitchCon. I had a, I had a great time. They had a, an awesome panel called, like, uh, uh, There Before Twitch, Tales from Justin TV. <laughs> was was, and, was uh, there five people there? <laughs> well, no, and it was a bunch of people that are huge now on, on Twitch. Man vs. Game, our friend that way back in the day when we were both just on Justin TV was, was on the show. He's on there, and they're all talking about these old stories. And I'm like, man, uh, 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 history is written by the winners because, like, we were kicked off the reservation, and now we're back. Yeah, uh, man, so what have you been up to? What's your week been like? Uh, oh, shoot, I just remembered what I promised to talk to you about. You tell yeah, me about uh, your uh, week first. We were talking, and you're like, I won't continue talking because this is a show bit. Uh, yeah, well, it's not really much of a bit, but I over the weekend, I, I shot shotguns uh, at pl Clay Pigeons with former MTV VJ and now host of the No Agenda podcast, uh, uh, Adam Curry, and and uh, I have I I think I still have the bruises. Is that uh, yeah? You can Wait, still you like what, yeah. Are you like bow punching each other like. Is, is... <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's the way it was. Because uh, I guess it was a euphemism when he said coming out we'll shoot guns. I was like okay, and he go and he just started flexing like crazy. Yeah, these and are then... the only guns that I have a license for. <laughs> yeah, these anyway, let's bro punch all afternoon. And you were in his garage, and he was wearing ball high sweatshorts. <laughs> Yeah, uh, here's an embarrassing fact, is when you show up to a charity event that's uh, for skeet shooting, um, uh, maybe maybe bring a gun. <laughs> that's, a, that's a fun idea. <laughs> they didn't bring guns? Wait, hold on. <laughs> so you told us last week that you were going to shoot clay pigeons with Adam Curry for charity, which at the time I posited is the whitest sentence ever spoken. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> But, but what you did not uh, mention, I would not have thought of it either, that apparently it is like a, a, a real gauche faux pas for you to show up to the skeet shooting event without your own uh, hardware. Well, there was a near miss because I got there and realized that of the four of us, only one of us had brought a gun, and it wasn't even Adam Curry. <laughs> it was, it was uh, Gene Naftulev, uh, the guy who introduced me to Adam, uh, I think. And, uh, and it, was, it, was, it was a nice uh, shotgun. Um, uh, and it was a cool setup where it's like they had uh, – it's, it's like, a, like, a, like a golf course. There are ten stations, and each one – you would think it's like uh, pigeon goes up, shoot it. Woo! Pigeon, pigeon yeah. goes up. But it's like there's two shooters at each thing. Sometimes they're two shooting away from you. Sometimes there's two shooting towards you. Sometimes they're crossways. But they had one where it, where the rules were it would uh, it would roll it like you're patronizing a seven year old. <laughs> And the idea is that one of them was supposed to be a rabbit because it would roll forward and then pop and bounce up sideways. And then 
uh, they wouldn't pull the second one until after you shot that first one. Yeah. Uh, or shot at that first one, and then they launched. So you, you shot a quote a rabbit, and then a bird. Um, so we get there, and I see the lay of the land, and up rolls the enti- in matching uniforms, uh, the Texas A and M, the Aggie Skeet Shooting Club that had driven three hours in to roll it as a unit, and it was like I was in a John Hughes movie or something. It was suddenly 1980s, 80s. Uh, it was ski school all of a sudden. Only it was yeah, ski school. Yeah, so they, they just opened the van, like smoke billowing out, and they're just like, anyway, like uh, we're here to skeet shoots and skeet on women. Like that's what the Texas A&M Aggies uh, uh, bullet club's about for life. <laughs> well, and so realizing that there was only one gun and we were all going to cheer. Now, keep in mind, all of them have each have their own custom gun with the because you get the two shots and and uh between all of us we have no guns and i call bonnie and i'm like i was like put penny in charge just get over here it's a 30 minute drive there's one open slot so we did not have a full team none of us brought guns except for uh, jeans which was clearly for uh, uh home defense and yeah. Uh, and so I tell Bonnie, I'm like, bring my shotgun uh, as well. And so she, she gets Bring it. my shotgun. <laughs> bring my I'm shotgun. Like, as if, like, I'm just adding to now the whitest sentence ever spoke. It is getting ever whiter as you send the text to your wife, bring the shotgun. <laughs> bring, bring the, not, not like I was barking. This is like a dying Mountain Dew. I was excited about this <laughs> opportunity. <laughs> also, a copy of our credit report. <laughs> It's so it's so bodies racing down and uh, and everyone's and and again we're we're getting through the first one and time is running out and it's like do you have a fifth shooter and then we're kind of looking like oh, oh, oh and it's like well one of you could go again for the fifth person I was like oh okay <laughs> and so he did <laughs> like all so, of a sudden like you you're, like you're looking at the twelve year old bus boy and you're like. Uh, I don't know. Is that okay? Like, <laughs> yeah. They're like, oh, you can shoot again. Never mind, Timmy. Well, and so understand all of these shotguns are, are you know, rapid fire. You go click, click. And then, you know, because you got two birds up there or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> and I start to notice my shotgun doesn't look anything like any of these shotguns. These are all uh, shotguns that uh, my, my, <laughs> my shotgun. Uh, okay. We finished the first, uh, I'm going to call it hole. Cause it was like a, it was like a golf course basically. And I, yeah. and I talked to the guy scoring and he's really encouraging. He's like, yeah, you're doing good. You, you hit one <laughs> and so on. And then as we're getting ready to leave when nobody's around, I lean forward and I'm like, would it be pretty gauche for me to bring out my shotgun with a, uh, heat shield and a pistol grip and uh <laughs> and a pump action thing like it was t- like basically i have this shotgun from half-life <laughs> and, and and the guy just sort of froze and he was like yeah that'd be pretty gauche <laughs> <laughs> so we ended up uh we ended up playing the rest of the the whole thing and it was uh it was it was way fun it was way fun and the uh i shot 35 our best shooter shot 42 the guys from texas a&m averaged 75 (laughs) yeah turns out they're athletes in an athletic event for which they excel in oh man dude uh it was it was amazing though it was a really good time hello bonnie the invisible wife thank you for joining us thank you for having me uh so so were all the women swooning over your your secret uh boyfriend when he walked into the room and unannounced uh, Bryce? Oh, <laughs> Bryce? No. They... <laughs> what? I'm like... This bit does not even work on its own. Oh. <laughs> it, was a ref- it was a reference to what you were saying. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's right. a great... Oh. Yeah. That's Check a out great, the pre-show. A, a, great, a great thing to do is to confuse the two people that are in the room as well as the largest crowd we've ever had watching us live. <laughs> All right. So what, what about you, Justin? What was your week like? Uh, man, you know, I went to BlizzCon. Yeah, uh, you were you were talking it up on the Weird Things podcast. You were talking about how uh, how what what a tight operation, and you used a phrase that I don't think you meant lightly when you said it was the best run con you had ever been to. Full stop, dude. Without a doubt, like everything, and and maybe it's it's just because Brian and I have been a part of cons and and have been talent that has to be wrangled for cons and like hey listen man like sometimes stuff's five minutes late sometimes like you go on late and we've had like fights with other panelists who have come on after us and they're like hey listen like we didn't make ourselves 30 minutes late we're gonna do the hour for the people that waited in line to to be there for us uh this 
conference was like, I don't know what they had to do. Yeah, that was me and, and Joss at the, they had a whole Hearthstone tavern that they had set up. Uh, it was like everybody was off, like the second that, like on the minute they were like off and there was music playing and they had interstitials. It was, it was wild, but most of it was just me drinking with the Angry Chicken. Well, and speaking of which, Angry Chicken, are they the number one Hearthstone podcast or? Far, far as I'm considered right, uh, right here on the front page of Twitch, uh, uh, take it as fact, <laughs> write it in the Wikipedia for Hearthstone that there is only one number one Hearthstone stream and that is the Angry Chicken. Uh, so, and how long, how long out of an, of an event was it? You know, two days. It's short. It just goes Friday, Saturday. That's it. Friday. They do the opening ceremony. Saturday. They have the band and it was, it's muse this year. And, uh, Oh my God. It. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, that, go. Uh, okay. All right. I got to get that into my life. Uh, I think that might be this, the, of everything you said, my favorite part might've been the two day thing. I would much rather do. A tight two day. Oh my god, yeah. So anyway, I, I'm getting I'm getting drunk with the Jazz and Garrett on Saturday night after the con is over, and they're like, "Oh my god, let's do Disney, let's do Disney." Like we're all gonna go do Disney because it's right in Anaheim. You're literally across the street from Disneyland. It, it's you walk there basically if you're if you're staying. And I was like, "Oh no, I'm I'm far far too old and brittle for that. Like I must return to my my little sanctuary, and I will then recoup for the weeks of work." <laughs> well, and you also, is it, uh, are you still flirting with the idea of going to, to uh, the real Disney? Not that fake one that started it all, but the real one that's a, that's a, a part for part remake of the first uh, prototype. Uh, uh, you know, yeah, yes, I'm going to go to Disney World uh, uh, on after Thanksgiving in Orlando, Florida, which is uh, the happiest place on earth and, and not Disneyland, which uh, has the famous slogan, I mean, it was our first try. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the weird part is walking around the Magic Kingdom yeah. to see how they went out of their way to recreate all of the poor uh, uh, flow uh, decisions in the very first Magic Kingdom, where it's like, man, this sucks. Everything's cramped and, and nothing's available. The lines, they clearly... Oh, it's a carnival. It's a carnival. And all these uh, Californians always get all worked up when you call Disneyland exactly what it is. Just a, a tilt-a-whirl away from being every carnival you've ever gone to that now has a bunch of money. I'll tell you what. I, I, love, I, love, I, love, I love the immersion of, of Disneyland uh, when you see the, the, the Denny's hawking moons over my hammy right as you walk into the park. Uh, oh, what a magical experience for everybody. I'll tell you what, man. You want to get full-on role play? Walk around with a fistful of tickets in your hand and just constantly ask people how many they got. And then when they ask, like, where are those? You're like, ah, don't worry about it and walk off. Disneyland, uh, you can get a switchblade comb that has Lightning McQueen on it. <laughs> <laughs> to Disneyland, you can get a uh, 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 the the bug-eyed dude, uh, but uh, from Monsters Inc. that you stick down and he wait five seconds and then he pops up and off the table. <laughs> Disneyland. We suck. <laughs> We're worse than the other places that we built because it was the first one. And for whatever reason, people keep telling us we're good. They, uh, man, we have some friends who are like long timers. In there, some like legendary, like I want to say it's an F ticket or something, which sounds like. Sounds By the way, like just different. for the record. Like, literally, we have invited everybody we have ever known to come here because we're on the front page. We really, really want our community with us as we introduce the show to a whole bunch of new people. Thank you to everybody watching. But so many of them are from California, and we are legitimately just angering them. Like, our, our <laughs> close friends are just like, like Mike TV. One of the, if, you, if you continue to listen to this show or go back to listen to old episodes, you will hear one of the most talented musicians that you will ever hear. And he's just like, for real, fuck you guys. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Well, especially, yes, uh, you are correct. Wait, was I right? Is it a, an F ticket? Is that the real thing? I believe so. Uh, yeah, this was like the one special ticket that if you bought in the 1960s, you could get on anything. And like at some point they phased out the tickets and they went to uh, park admission. But this became like the legendary ticket. Like if you had it, you got like a lifetime get in for free or whatever. No, or maybe, oh, is really? it E? Yeah. This article also mentions uh, an E ticket. Yeah, that's so that there, there might have been a ticket that if you had bought it in the early, early, early days, you can get into Disneyland for free now. Uh, yeah, but, but the F ticket is for the streetwalkers outside Disney, is what I'm told oh, according shoot. to the chat. 
because you can definitely cop a blowy at the Castle Inn, literally right across the street Stop of it. this magical place. Stop it. They're getting mad. They're getting mad. Uh, I actually would oh, like. No, no, yeah, that's fine. That's great. Yeah, no, no, you definitely want to find a street walker in front of your child's birthday magic uh, destination. Stop it! I want to remain friends with Mike TV. I'm just saying. No, we'll go to the IHOP so I can pour <laughs> some syrup on my disrespected junk after the sex I've had for money outside of the uh, crappy Disney. I'm sorry. Uh, did uh, did, did you just crap. refer to you disrespected junk? <laughs> <laughs> Is that, is that how you feel after after being with a lady after of the night? having sex with a prostitute, you're just saying, man, you just got disrespected, and you're looking at your penis in the eye. Yeah, you're, you're disappointed. Like, the you're, like, you're like, I can't believe you did that. We've talked about this. That shame well, no, on you. Because you're looking at it in the eye, so you have to have one hand down flipping it up. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, you look at me. You look at me in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> you puppeteer it like a ventriloquist. You aim it up at yourself. No, I'm going to drink a glass of water while my penis <laughs> sings Old Man River. <laughs> hey, man, if you want to support this show, just head on over to patreon.com slash night attack. Uh, as you know, it's your donations that keep us loud, live, and independent, trying to bring you the funny every single week. And if you are a new pledger or somebody who raises your donation, you get to participate in the... Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Night Attack new Patreon name chant corner hour. It's an hour of... <laughs> oh, man. Brand new patron. He gave his first name and his last name, so I'm going to give his first name and his last name. I would like to think he's on stage right now. He's got uh, long, uh, kind of curly, dark hair and <laughs> and a white T-shirt, uh, and uh, and he's singing. Oh, my God. What? What? I, I, think, I think I know who you're talking about. Sorry. God, I'm just shocked that this, this celebrity is... is uh... Uh, 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 supported us. Well, and I think this, and 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 he he loves the show enough that he raised his donation from one dollar to, to to above one dollar. Uh, and weirdly, the song is his own name is the lyrics, and he's singing, uh, Anthony Diana. <laughs> I'm trying to do Dirty Diana. <laughs> Wow, I thought you were talking about Weird Al. <laughs> Somebody named Who's Fat? Uh, is a the what, what, uh, what's funny is Weird Al's version of the same song is Anthony, Anthony. Wiener, hey, going to jail. I mean the hot dog, not the dick, uh, because he sings clean. He I don't know why he was Fred Schneider. All right, no, 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 who is it? Anthony Diana? Anthony Diana. <laughs> Anthony Diana. 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 Uh, <laughs> uh, oh wait, somebody's upset with uh, Anthony Diana. <clears throat> Anthony Diana. Thank you. Uh, wait, who's? who's I don't upset? know. Somebody just wrote Brian Cryface, 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 which usually means I did something wrong. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's no, like, my mom was Anthony Diana. <laughs> so I was uh, we took the long way home in traffic and, and I get just this random text message and I'm driving and I know I shouldn't look but uh, but I glance over and I only see it out of the corner of my eye I just see the word die from Bonnie <laughs> and I was like what All right, hey, actually pause 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 because this is the moment of the show in which uh, we normally, if you've noticed this and you've been watching the show uh, and you're new to it on Twitch, uh, we don't do a lot of the uh, normal stuff that happens when streamers get subscriptions and follows and uh, bits and everything. Except for right now, which we normally disguise as a regular part of the show where we just have a normal conversation and we're going to pick up Brian's traffic story. Except we will now go full Twitch if you give us a bit. You give us a sub right now. We will cut into this story awkwardly. Yeah, so this, is, this is the only time that we interrupt everything for you guys. Oh, we even have a sounder for it. Uh, oh, wow. Right on. So uh, so I, I looked you over. You can sub to us on Twitch. Yeah. Sub it up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Stephen Cogswell. 
Stephen Conklin. Stephen. This is the best. Uh, so I'm I'm driving, and I know we went along the long way home. Thank you, Thank Threat you Network. Thank you, the, uh, the Threat Network. You're so cute. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute. Uh, but I look down, and and I'm not going to respond. Thank you, Mitzula. Oh, Six nine. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> And, it's, I, and I'm thinking to myself, I, well, I'm not going to respond. And, and in case she... Oh, Vags. 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 We love you, Vags. We love your eggs, Vags. <laughs> uh, the, uh, I, I, and I can't hand the phone to Penny because, you know, Face ID won't unlock if I do. Uh, uh, yeah, because you have a new phone. <laughs> Thank you, I see you. Thank I see you, you, I see you. Thank you. <clears throat> and also because... What if she did write the word die? <laughs> In which case, I don't want my daughter answering on my behalf. I'm understanding. Your wife uh, saying die to you, the father of her child. That's very, very uh, damaging. Thank you, Max Power 683. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. You're so cute. It's so... Uh, uh, hi, Botch Podcast. Thanks it's so good to see podcast. you. So as we're as we're this driving along, really profitable. This should be the entire show. <laughs> I'm starting to think. I'm starting to think Thank that there might be a business. Them. Oh my god, we're never gonna get back to the show, are we? <laughs> yeah, no, it's gonna be the rest of your traffic story. Bump Mikey. We don't. Yeah, we don't need to call Mikey for seven minutes. <laughs> so I've seen. I've seen. My wife tweet the word die. Your uh, man Jeff won. <laughs> and and I can't ask my daughter to investigate because I'm driving. So I have a good 20 minutes to wonder why she, <laughs> why she just tweeted. That actually, that's a real something to ponder. Thank you, Chopper43, for the 1,500 bets. You're so cat. <laughs> and so I get home, and the first thing I do is glance at the phone, and I see. Okay, so Fitzship29, thank you for the subscription. So uh, the best I could come up with is maybe Bonnie knows that we're not back yet and we should be. And uh, thank you, Jack Devaney. Thanks, Jack. Thank you, Jack. So cute. Uh, and, uh, the best I could think of is maybe she knows we're late and she's either actually upset or just trying to poke at me with some. Yeah. With some, she's trying to get a rise out How of me. How dare you be late? Thank, like thank like you, Rob times for a hundred bets. Thank you. <laughs> like the He's most charitable late. version that I could come up with is like she's a YouTube commenter that says <laughs> die, and I'm like, wait, what? And she goes, ha ha. I just wanted to get a reaction out of you. I'm a big fan. <laughs> Uh, the bio cow, thank you. Thirty bits, not as much as before. <laughs> oh, my <God. laughs> oh my god! Really? <laughs> so thank, thank you, Christy Kate. Kate. Twenty-five bits, dot dot dot. So I still don't know why she tweet texted me this, but it was not died. You guys, you have a guess as to what she wrote? Uh, she said the in German. <laughs> <laughs> Exp <laughs> three hundred bits, more like it. That thing body always texts the D. <laughs> Thank she you sent you the D. Gun guy. <laughs> Thank you, Green Gun Guy. Three hundred fifty. So what uh, was it? Uh, and I, I'm gonna find out for the first time. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna find out now from you, Bonnie, why you texted this. But uh, why? But, but but first, thank you, Midnight Fox. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Thank you. Like, you first, wait, okay, okay, go ahead. Before you you say anything. Thank you, Slumber Jake. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it was my butt that sent it to you. <laughs> so what did my butt tell you? Because it was a total butt. accident. I didn't even know your it went out. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, the box. So your butt. Oh my god, this is, that's even better because I thought for sure whatever it was, it was to say you're running behind. No. Thank you, your man Jeff. Two hundred bad. And I, I couldn't Just understand. I couldn't understand if your point was that you were concerned that we're late. Why you would text me the word, ole. <laughs> <laughs> Subscription. Oh All right, here we go. We got to the punchline. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, uh, you have no idea, man. This is this is. Uh, I'm having the best time ever. Uh, <laughs> Bonnie's uh, butt is yeah. very jovial. <laughs> like like you're like you're making it home. Oh, lay. <laughs> oh. Uh, hey, man. One of our favorite things that we ever ever get to do on our silly show is about to happen, Justin. 
Uh, for those of you who are unaware of who this man is, uh, be ashamed. Uh, really, you should think of yourself as a lesser person because he does, uh, for my money, the best movie criticism, not only on the internet, not only on YouTube, uh, that I have seen in terms of that long form, real shit you need it in your life. Movies with Mikey is the series. Film Joy on YouTube is the channel you need to subscribe to immediately. But our friend and uh, a contributor to this show, we are so happy anytime he's on, is Mikey Newman! Huzzah! <laughs> Mikey. That, was a, that was a big intro. Thank you. Uh, man, we have, very missed nice. you, we have missed you so, so dearly. How has everything gone since you've gone fully independent? Uh, you, you left Gearbox and you married the internet, yeah. man. Are you in love? I did. I I am experiencing what is what it is like to be a full time YouTuber and everything. I'm 35. I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> but I did have time to write you guys a pretty demonic quiz. So. Oh my god! Yeah, to put it's it in perspective. It's deceptively simple. Uh, now listen. Uh, we, we we have to before we get into the quiz, we got to discuss a little. Uh, uh, Mikey has been coming on here doing quizzes for for a little bit now, and there is a little culture that has sprung up around it. Not the least of which is Mitzula, our man in Vegas, who you communicate right. with the the topic of the quiz, and then he, as a professional handicapper in Las Vegas, that's actually his job is to set sports betting lines, comes up with a full sheet of odds and props. And I've been informed, I've not seen the details yet, but I've been informed that there is something on this quiz or on this uh, stat sheet that has never happened before. So uh, I don't, I, I, when I was talking to him, I asked what, what he thought your familiarity with the topic was, because if you knew this, I think you would do okay. Um, but I have on pretty good authority. You guys are up a Creek on this one. So, <sighs> Okay. Uh, the the title uh, on the odd sheet says "Cry Me a Riverdale." Is this about that show that's <laughs> oh based my God. on? Damn it, you son of a well, bitch. it's CW's it's Riverdale. it's the characters. Oh no! Well, you guys know yeah. Archie and I, the gang, I, I, and we're done. I, <laughs> and that's I what I know. It. So yeah, like one of the things that that uh, Archie the comic does, and by nature of the show. Um, is all of the characters have really stupid names and they have to sell that as if it makes sense. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I did, wrote a quiz. It is, is this a real Riverdale character? Oh, no! oh my God damn it. All right. But here, Brian, before we get into this, did you I, notice the important part of that stat sheet? Uh, no, first of all, before we even go that far, Bonnie is, is looking at me mouthing the words, what's Riverdale? Uh, Riverdale uh, is a, well, it's just a, to push my own trumpet here, go to CryMeARiverdale.com. It is the best podcast. It is hosted by me and John Reisinger, and we do a recap of every episode of Riverdale and also terrible shows and good shows like Gilmore Girls and The O.C., which we watched the pilot of, and we're completely buffoons. We had no idea what was happening. <laughs> but but R Riverdale's based on the Archie comic books, question mark? It, it it is and it isn't. It takes the oh. it takes all the characters and and what's imp like Jughead is on the show. <laughs> Jughead likes food and Jughead wears a crown all the time. So they made like a crown beanie and made him just dress that way and make it feel real. But yeah, he is always eating and that's just a subtle part of the show. But really, it's a murder mystery. Oh, well, um, that's like yeah. what? <laughs> yeah, they what? took Archie and made it a murder mystery. And so what? It sounds like that should be terrible. It's quite literally a dark, gritty reboot of the Archie what? franchise. This is like, I have this like cousin. It's, it leans into that on purpose. I have this yeah, cousin it, that knows it, it, By the way, like, never has there been a better setup to actually do the Archie Punisher crossover that they did in the comics than the current Punisher and the current uh, Archie yeah, show. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. Okay, so some of the items we have on here. Uh, jury's favorite to win. <clears throat> well, uh, no, 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 no. Look at that. Quiz with Mikey winner. I am getting a point. Brian, you are favored in this quiz for the first time that Mizzoula has ever made odds. Oh, that's not going to end well. <laughs> <laughs> Our favored to win the game but but guys. i but 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 i only win because i'm the baby from baby's day out and i never know where i'm going i just oh, 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 oh. 
look at that. Oh, the first couple times it was real cute, wasn't it, Brian? <laughs> Oops, I just happened to go through these Mikey quizzes, did, and I happened to baby you know. out my way to victory. Well, guess what? <laughs> You've set yourself up a reputation to the point where now you have been favored. There is no more mercy. There is no more sportsmanship. I'm going to game theory your ass until I win wow. by my plus one. I will never, never be not favored in this again. I, I am about to get so crushed. <laughs> Fun a- fact, uh, John Hughes wrote Baby's Day Out. Um, yeah. And an- another fun fact, Baby's Day Out had a script. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I went ahead and took the took the pleasure of writing down your names. Today is going to be Fanny Tushwood. That's good. Um, versus Frustum Gogurt Tongue. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, I just say we dive we dive in, right? No, we got to get right into it. And also, by the way, I I, I don't think that uh, this. Well, I guess I cursed. So th- there's already some of the prop bets are coming in. Oh yeah, yeah that's so right. There what, are, happens what happens first? first. Jerry curses. Shwood debates an answer. Mikey laughs uncontrollably. Someone gets an answer from chat. Someone walks off set. Picnic, standing belly clap, and none of the above. Oh, 100 to one odds on that one. Uh, uh, just just uh, 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 do your fa- do yourself a favor if you want to hear this or uh, see the whole odd sheet if you're listening only on audio. At Mitzula, M-I-T-Z-U-L-A, on Twitter. Um, these are all going to sound fake to you. Now, you have to tell me if it's real or fake. Um, real within the Archie universe. I think every character I wrote down uh, that is real is, in fact, in the comics as well, I think. Um, right, hold on, wait, Mikey. I just got Definitely on the show. Because you, you always give us silly names here, uh, but... Uh, Jay, Brian's brother, who is in the chat right now, you've apparently <laughs> drudged up memories as he just solemnly types in the chat. On the bus in elementary school, they called me Gay Buttwood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, that's that doesn't sound like a joke I would ever make. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not. Tush, it's not. Tush For whatever is reason, kind of though, a go-to, you, you brought though. that up in Jay. Go ahead. All right, so we are gonna start with Mr. Fanny Tush. Yep. Um, Number one. Okay. Is the character Waldo Weatherby real or fake? Okay. And you mean real within the television Re- real show? Real within the, the television show of Riverdale. Okay. The show and... you've never seen. So this is really funny. <laughs> uh... Did you ever read the Archie comics? I, 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 I no. I, I think I have uh, one or two, but they would have been crossover ones or something, or, 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 or they came free in Alphabet Serial or something. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, uh, do you remember the comic book of Power Pack that came in cereal boxes where they talked about child molestation? Oh, <laughs> do you, oh my yeah. God. No, we don't. Hey, as, play, as, you, uh, uh, can you play uh, the Are We Ready for the Front Page thing <laughs> for the first time? <laughs> <laughs> There was a there was a the power pack. There was a super team of kids, and and the, they thought, well, who better to talk about? Just like you know that that episode of Different Strokes was on. Why not? Uh, all right. Why are we still here? We we understand that. Okay, there wait, 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 wait. Sorry, I I do have to make a a quick edit. Uh, your name is no longer Fanny Tushwood. Uh, it is Shovel Tushwood because you can't stop digging. Um, <laughs> all right. All right, shovel. Is it real or fake? Okay. Waldo Weatherby. <laughs> so okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. The all right. answer of real or fake? It's. Do you know this comic that had a molestation angle? <laughs> I, oh, I, I'm gonna say real. Waldo Weatherby is real. Uh, I, I believe he is real as well. He's real. That that was the that was the easy one. Oh. He is, that's the principal of the school. Yes. Wait, you knew this? I think I read them, but I don't. It's like in the back of my brain. Bonnie's maybe? like Bonnie's like remembering from a past life or something. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I wasn't really paying uh, attention uh, back then. Uh, uh, hey, re- it not, looks like you. Have I'm a, not googling it, and this is not related. So. But it looks like like uh, that's some kind of What's grid. I, I'm seeing a monitor over here. I don't yes, want to access this. This is see not it. related. Oh, great, like I'm okay, saying, great, this is not it. a thing. You can ignore it. it. Okay, good. Hey Brian, by the yeah, way, I, I, that, I, uh, the only copy of the quiz is printed out below me. You cannot cheat. Good, 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 good. All uh, right. Something, something that you might not know about me, Brian. 
I read Archie comics. No. Ooh. No. <laughs> Did you read and the one the way, about Power Pack? Buy, I used to buy Bazooka Joe gum so I could read the Archie comics that came oh, inside of them. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Now, oh, no, no, there's no guarantee that I'm going to remember these tertiary characters that they've apparently brought back for this frolicking sex murder fest that they have on the CW. But uh, as far as the source material goes, I'm, I'm probably more familiar than I am... I'm more familiar with Archie than I am the Guardians of the Galaxy. Let me put it like that before I, the movie came out. How, 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 how is me, the oldest person in the room, the least familiar with Archie comic books? <laughs> I don't know. I'll tell you what. I, I just know that we picked the perfect way into the millennials' heart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm curious how much that helps you. Number two, going to uh, Frustum. Yeah. Tinkle Tenderfoot. <laughs> Tinkle Tenderfoot. Tinkle Tenderfoot, yeah. Now, the question here is with Tenderfoot, because that almost sounds like half racist. <laughs> well, and Archie Comics was wait, full wait, racist a few times, so. Tenderfoot was also a, a Boy Scout thing. That's, that's what you were uh, in the first stage before you became an Eagle Scout. So it seems very Americana, which... Kind of makes me suspicious because that's the way that's the way Mikey writes is he thinks to himself, what could be more all American Archie comics than a reference to the Boy Scouts of America? Uh, I'm going to say that Tinkle Tenderfoot is real. OK, <sighs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say real to incorrect. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. I knew it. Is that why you were grinning? Is because I because I correctly assessed that you're writing. Oh, you cannot go by his facial I expressions. I he is can. a poker face. Like he's just got all this misdirection going on. Number three. Uh, also, to... uh, uh, Bryce, I think uh, Cogswell actually had some uh, some rights and wrong uh, uh, sounders on that same page. If you're if you're there with the Monday Night Football thing. Okay. Somebody in the chat's correcting me. Uh, Tenderfoot is a long ass way from Eagle Scout. That was my points. <laughs> <laughs> now your night is ruined. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, number three, shovel is Rush Rip Ford, a real or fake character. I want you to know that the moment you said shovel, I thought, oh man, is shovel a real name? And then I realized <laughs> <laughs> shovel slender puss. Uh, <laughs> Shovel Slender Puss? <laughs> what? It's, a, it's my it's my character from Wacky Races. Haven't you heard of? <laughs> it's like the the cat Shovel version Slender Puss. that that falls in love with the 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 laughing dog. The okay. Um, <laughs> what's the name again? Rush Ripford. Rush R Ripford. You're listening to Rush Ripford, nine in the morning here on fifty-five eight. No, that does that does sound like. Uh, uh, no, I'm gonna say. Actually, I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say yes. Uh, uh, and he's a he's a Twitch streamer and political uh, pundit. Uh, he, <laughs> <laughs> he plays uh, CS:GO. As a counter terrorist, and if he isn't, Ross he Ripford be. here on Twitch. I want to thank uh, Jim uh, Diamond for the two hundred bits. <laughs> uh, I'm wait. So you said real? He said real. Uh, I will say fake. You got a point. It was fake. Oh, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it. I, 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 I thought. And again, this I feel this on the to... EIB network. <laughs> I always I, I bump. All right. So, how much do you think the alliteration <laughs> plays into these games? Well, well I mean, the, into the into I mean, that's the a trope. You're, you're you're gonna see the the turn right here. They're Ooh. not all alliterative. Ooh. All right, keep them keep them coming, Gleep Glop. <laughs> all right, uh, number four goes to uh, Justin, I believe. Yeah, let's First. go. Number four, Tall Boy. Wait, is, 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 is he a rapper? No, he's a beer. <laughs> he's a tall boy. Tall boy. Although tall boy does sound like everybody at the ass end of a, a song with four features. Like, it's just. 
<laughs> you know, it, it's uh, it, Busta Rhymes featuring Quavo <laughs> featuring Ludacris featuring Tallboy. Exactly. Okay, first of all, that sounds amazing, and I would listen to that. It hell does sound like a great one. <laughs> and I'll bet you Tallboy has like the like, but he's just like has like that one verse. It's just like. I'm a tall boy, like over and over again. And for whatever reason, he gets credited. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to say that tall boy is <laughs> everybody just say tall, tall boy, B O I. That's, that's my, that's my rap name from here on out. Uh, I'm going to say that tall boy is not short, real. <laughs> uh, Here's my only concern: is that um, uh, was was Tall Boy slang for a beer back in Archie Comics days when this character? Oh, uh, question: are, are all of these characters also in the Archie Comics, or or are there Riverdale characters that aren't? I assume there is. <laughs> like, well, he said or he said when we started, he knows that they're from the TV show, but they may... got it, got it, but they might not be. I'm I'm pretty sure that all of them are. Yeah, I'm gonna disagree. I gotta, I gotta make up a point. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna say no. I, I think a uh, tall boy is a, is a country dressing rap fusion. <laughs> wow, that's that's quite the called shot. <laughs> that, that almost Not made only is he real. A place that made sense. Uh, it is real. Damn. Tall boy is a member, and this is true Damn. of the town's. Gang, the Serpents. <laughs> um, Number five. Oh my God! Ever, ever try and and, and put me one point behind ever again? <laughs> I don't. I don't Who know. This? I want you to blame Mizzoula tonight. I want you to text him and okay, say I, right, I'm not right, talking right. anymore. We're in a fight. I feel you're, you're about to discover why hubris is is the thing that will take you down. Oh, because um, he can just start guessing I'm randomly. A, I'm gonna fly right and kiss the sun, Mikey. You watch me. <laughs> like Icarus before me, I will do nothing but succeed. Um, <laughs> number five, going to shovel Tushwood. All right, Henny Peabody. Penny Peabody, that's got to be real. Got to be real. Penny Peabody. Here's the problem with that one is that you figure either in the show or in the comic that somebody thought of that in five seconds. Like that that's like at some that's point. That's literally bedroom, every comic lines. name ever. <laughs> Come on, Veronica Lodge, Betty Cooper. These are like. Roll the dice and get uh, get <laughs> those, a name. Uh, by the way, those were the two remaining names that I knew from the Archie comic books. Thanks for burning them. <laughs> so now, now that it's confirmed that they're not in the quiz, it's time to start paying. I'm like, ah, forget it. Uh, Penny Peabody. Wait, Brian, you said what? I, uh, I don't know. What did I say? I said pay no, attention, I'm motherfucker. The opposite. I'm going the opposite. You, uh, you actually have to declare which one you're no, picking. No, 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 you no, no. What, uh, what, what, did, what did Brian say so I can pick the opposite? If you weren't paying attention, you can't know. I'm saying you have <laughs> to right. choose. I think, I think it's fake. <laughs> I have to keep this even. Um, as it turns out, you did pick the opposite of him, and you chose wrongly. So it is now three to two. Oh, <laughs> so close. So close. I, 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 meanwhile, off of the side, uh, 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 Sylvester Stallone say like, call the fight. Just stay down. Stay down, Apollo. And I'm just getting back up. <laughs> You know, I did just recently do uh, a movie's Mikey on Creed, if you're bored after this. Um, number six. <laughs> yeah, that's that wrong. classic line from the Indiana Jones movie. You chose wrongly. <laughs> Poorly. <laughs> number, number six. Paul Puma. Paul Puma? Uh, that's me, right? Mm-hmm. Paul Puma. Paul Puma is real. I don't think he is. Jerry, you're in trouble, bud. That's two in a row. Oh, 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 oh. Three, oh. three, three, oh. three. Not even about it. <laughs> Number seven. Yeah. By the way, this is a 15 question quiz because that's how we do all, all right. So we're, 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 uh, we're, we're going to rock and roll here. Halfway, we're, halfway. We're about to be halfway, yeah. Number seven to Brian, dipstick. Two words. Dipstick? Oh. Dip. First stick. name dip, last name stick. 
First name Dip, last name Greatest. <laughs> I oh, am Connecticut Sticks. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say false. I'm gonna say not real. I'm gonna say not real. And it's specifically because of the the, the two words. That's where I, I I don't trust you. Getting back on it, dipstick's real. I think it's real. That sounds so I, 50s. I would like to point out, <laughs> tall boy was two words, and that was real. Oh. But dipstick is two words, and it is fake. Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> Shovel. Bring it back. Oh, piling up the bullshit is and what he's doing. Stand it up, stand it up, and the, the the montage is hitting. It's playing. Go for it because this is uh, uh Rocky Five, the the bad one. Well, yeah, I like how people in the chat are getting mad. They're like, "No, I remember that character from the comics." <laughs> yeah, is uh, okay. Uh, it was. I was reading it while Nelson Mandela was in prison or dead. <laughs> I remember this. Free Nelson no. Mandela. They freed him already. Um, number eight, going to jury, I believe. Kurt the Ish. I thought you were gonna Kurt Vonnegut. Uh, <laughs> Kurt the Ish. Kurt the Ish. Now the only question here is whether or not the ish, whether or not ish was anything in the fifties, like whether there was some hand jive song or something that mentioned uh, uh, ish, because ish, of course, in modern vernacular, is the radio edit reverse version of shit. I will tell you that there are characters on the Riverdale show that have nicknames that were not their original names that are made up to sound cool and modern. Kurt the ish. Kurt Vonnegutish. <laughs> Kurt Vonnegutish. Here we go. Uh, I will say that Kurt the Ish is real. Brian, moment of truth, my friend. I'm 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 gonna say it's real just because I I hate it and it's terrible if it is <laughs> and. And Certainly not because he's playing game theory. If that's what you're thinking, it's not because of that. No, I it's think... just because because I I just feel like I, here's what's gonna happen next. I'm gonna it's say it's real. Shit house. I'm, I'm gonna say I, 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 in order. I'm gonna say it's real. It's gonna turn out to be fake, and and Mikey's gonna be more giddy than we could possibly believe that okay. he got us with Kurt the Ish. But, uh, but I think Justin correct. nailed it. Like when he's like, he said you Kurt both Vonnegut. It. We both missed it. We both Woo! missed it. Yeah! <laughs> I had to I had to sell that one. I had to sell that one. Um, number nine, back to Brian. Yep. Hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be real. Gotta be real. So wait, the rest of this game, Mikey, is just gonna be us naming random things like salt <laughs> it's, shaker. It's, this is this the next is a, one is comb. <laughs> this this yeah. is how Long we know. Free I just start naming things on my desk. Yeah, my is... favorite character is fidget spinner. <laughs> uh, he's real good. And Kleenex and Super Nintendo Classic controller is my uh, great character. And this, this is how we'll know you're oh, over this the, game <laughs> when oh, that the, happens. By the way, if if if, if, if visual movie essays uh, ever falls short, we know that Mikey can always have a career as Budget Gallagher. Uh, <laughs> as he just shows things on his desk. That was my nickname in in uh, elementary school, Budget Gallagher. That's what he called me. Uh, somebody in the chat asked, wait, has anybody actually seen Riverdale? Uh, no. Start with Mikey has a Riverdale podcast. Yeah, we got we got a lot of traffic coming in. We got people coming in not knowing not knowing what's what. Right. Then they also need to go to CryMeARiverdale.com, and I will explain <laughs> all of the Riverdale-ish back to you. Justin? Oh, I think he's real. You both said real? Yep. Hot dog is in fact a dog, and it's the gang's dog. Ah! Uh, so it is five to. So, five. Tall, so tall boy feeds kibbles to hot dog. And I'm I'm certain that Justin uh, knew that from just knowing it, and not because the entire chat room all started screaming, "That's the dog!" at once. I'm sure he didn't catch uh -oh. any of that. Wait. Oh, look at you! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. Austin, 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 start building get in. Get that neck fucking get snapping, in, Brian. Get in the chat. <laughs> oh, you're chat watching. That's a, no, that's rich. There we go. We play I, God no, that was I answered that's before the, the before the lag even, even had. I answered instantly. Oh, shovel. Number, <laughs> number 10. This is uh, jury. Yeah. Trev Brown. Trev Brown. Trev Brown. Is fake. How many more questions are there? Five after this one. <clears throat> I got to tell you, in an alternate oh, universe. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where's that eye line? Oh, geez, man. That's, that doesn't seem where my monitor is in the studio. <laughs> that was kind of downward to where the chat is. Oh, no. Studio. Sorry. This is, this is uh, I, was, I literally was, was, was just thinking. Um, uh, I, I will maintain uh, eye contact with the uh, camera if that will be helpful. Uh, and then I immediately look up. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I apparently can't think while looking you Which in the eye. So like, look away. What you do when you're lying subconsciously is to look upwards. Trev, what was the rest of it? Trev Brown. That's real. Trev Brown is real. He was a kid on the football team. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Six, four, gosh. Okay. Um, I'm just saying. I, 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 I... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our first and last ever time on that attack, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know, uh, listen, uh, uh, it was a good show. We had a good show. We have a lot of people watching tonight. You guys uh, want to see the last show at night attack? Guess what? Guess what? You might. <laughs> All right, what's the next one? Go. <laughs> Number 11. Teebs Triscuit. <laughs> like the cracker? <laughs> Not spelled quite well, the same, this but is the problem, yes. Because this is like, I, I, I'm going through some real anguish right now. And the next, it's like the first thing you hear at the gates of hell is Teebs Triscuit. <laughs> Teebs. Is e there a Teebs e Triscuit here? Uh, may, may you please spell the answer, please? <laughs> T E E B S T R I K I T Teebs Triscuit. I'm gonna say. <laughs> I'm gonna say. Is I'm gonna say. Is it me? For, it's me first, right? Yeah. I'm gonna say it's false, because what you spelled is not what you said, and I'm hoping you miswrote it and <laughs> can't read your own handwriting. <laughs> you left out the S in tr Triscuit, but. Uh, no, T R I S K. Oh, ma maybe there was a sky drop and I missed it, or maybe I'm I'm just wishful thinking. T R I S K I T. That's what he said. Okay, all right. I say, I still so say it's you... false. Oh, okay. Okay. I think it's false. Tristan. It is false. Uh, it sounds like. All right. Wait a minute. So, uh, did did you fuck up? <laughs> well, so I I spelled it. Triscuit like the cracker, but when when Brian correctly called because I wasn't expecting a spelling on that one, I had to change how I was spelling it in my head on the fly. Yeah. Um. And your uh, prosecutorial I, 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 attorney I, I, skills just got me. I I, uh, I sniffed it out. Uh, that's the rare instance where I was right for the right reason. <laughs> yeah. Uh, number twelve going to jury. Paul Sourberry. <laughs> Can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> I have the hots for Paul Sourberry. <laughs> Paul Sourberry? Paul Sourberry. I think he's real. Yeah, it's too dumb not to be. What's funny, I was actually hoping you were going to tell me to spell it because it's S-O-W-E-R Berry. Sour Berry. Oh, I... And I he is, in fact, real. That is Hiram Lodge's attorney. I thought it would have been like S A U R B E R Y or something like a, like a like. A, is that how you spell sauerkraut? Oh, like, I was I was yeah. hoping. Yeah. Just, I was I was gonna basically read it off the card again, like I was faking it when you asked me to spell it. Oh. I, I I could game you if you had asked me. <laughs> I was gonna mess you up. 
Because you're like, well, he just did the same thing again. See, see this is the problem. You like the Borg. I know I can only modulate my phasers once, and then, <laughs> and then I gotta, <laughs> then I have to throw my gun down and run away. <laughs> Seven to five, down to the last three. Ooh. Number thirteen, Rose Rickerty. R- R- uh, Rose Rickerty. Rose Rickerty. And uh, uh, is this to me or to Justin? It is to you because it's question three. Rose Rickerty. Yeah, I'll say it's real. Fake. It is fake. Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! That could be the crushing blow to your... um... Ego? Yes. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Number 14, starting with Jury. Yeah. Jelly Bean Jones. I believe Jelly Bean Jones is real. I think it's fake. Oh, look at you. Now, Justin, did you know that was real? There, I had a, a little voice inside my heart. So that's, Jughead's that's... little sister is named Jellybean because their kids are Jellybean and Jughead for some reason. The Joneses, Jellybean, Jones. It is real. Hmm. But that, that one's pretty obvious, but I was hoping I could sneak it past you guys. Oh, shit. Brian, seven, seven. we are literally down to the last punch question. To the final question. But and I now... feel bad because the, the last one is such a gimme, so this is 100% definitively ending in a tie. Oh, so, wow. Well, okay, unless this trips you up. Okay, go for it. Uh, I, I need to make sure I say this correctly. Number 15, Jam Slunt. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, my gosh. He turned bright red after saying that. Like, his, his cheeks blushed. <laughs> this is a real name. This is a real name. By the way, for the audio listeners, Mikey is turning the most bright shade of red I have ever seen a human turn. Jam, Jam Slunt. Slunt Jumper Joint. <clears throat> Jam Slunt Jumper Jam Joint. Jam Slunt Jumper Joint. <sighs> jumper Joint. May you please spell the word. <laughs> By the way, 1,200 people concurrent on Jam Slunt. Yeah, I'm going to say not real. Well, we need... Justin, you want to shoot for the moon on this one? No, I think I'm going to agree with you. And I'm going to take my win in Vegas... Backdoor covered because I was plus one and say jam slunt is fake. Well, we, it's not confirmed yet. It is. It is fake. I made that one. Up. Man, you beat the spread, Justin. Oh my god. What, uh, the jam slunt spread. The jam slunt spread. That's, <laughs> it's my. It's it's mayonnaise and jelly. <laughs> It's actually, it's actually my character name in NBA 2K17. I just run up the court as Jam Slunt, and I just crush it home. Feed, feed Jam Slunt inside. That's all you need to do. That is, that is the uh, key to victory. How did we do on the rest of the of the Vegas spread? Did uh, did any of the side action happen? <coughs> I know. I I, I found. I I, got, I didn't mean to do it on purpose, but I know I definitely left <laughs> left the screen. <laughs> Walks offset. Uh yeah. So. Jury's curse, jury curses, I'm almost sure happen. Schwid debates an answer. Probably not. Mikey laughs uncontrollably. Definitely. We got that one at the end there. <laughs> someone gets an answer from chat. Brian fought for that one. Uh, yeah, someone walks to... off set. Uh, Picnic, we did have a little visual hiccup there. Standing belly clap did not hit. And definitely none of the above. Of the that's above the sucker right. bet. That's, that's like, like, well, I'm sorry. You're watching Night Attack. <laughs> did we, did, did we go over? Did we go over for uh, for both of us? Uh, so total combined correct was at 18. So you oh, guys hit 16. Under. So you didn't. 16. Yeah. Who gets the first incorrect? Uh, I don't. I don't. Rem- I don't know exactly. Who way that too one. high. Way too high on 18 total I correct. Think first incorrect was Tinkle Tenderfoot. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they said, well, that was the question, too, and they said that was real. I so. thought that was a fake name for Brian Rush. <laughs> <laughs> wait, also, wait, what was the last one? What was the last name on Jam Slunt? <laughs> Jam Slunt Jumper Joink. Jumper Joink. <laughs> that's a, that's a that's a Hall of Fame Mikey question next to what was your fake uh, Nintendo character? I don't remember. I, I think it was like dumb big stuff bump, and... bumpity bumpity oomps or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I vaguely remember that. Yeah. Somebody, somebody find us. Somebody find us. Big bop bop boompity oomps or whatever it was. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. Was big music. bop, big boopity oops. That's what it was. <laughs> oh my god. oops. Now we got a lot of graphic artists in our audience. I wonder if they can't like draw a picture. Draw of some jam pictures slug. of jam. King <laughs> King big boopity oops. That's what it was. King <laughs> King big boopity oops. All <laughs> one word. God, that may, that makes me so happy. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Uh, here's something that uh, for for uh, everybody who's watching us for the first time, if you want your project shouted out right here on this show, you can do so on our Diamond Time segment. That is on our Reddit, reddit.com slash r slash Diamond Club. Big Zicky boats right up there at the top every single week, and the top three we shout out right here on this show. B- uh, BT Dubs, y'all might have noticed we ain't got no sponsors. We do not take any kind of money from anybody else. So the only way we make money is on Patreon. And the only time we shout out shit that isn't ours is on Diamond Time. So be a part of that if you want. We begin this week with JF Dubo. Oh, boy. Change change of plans, fuckos. This is supposed to be about crowdfunding, uh, but screw it. This morning I found out that my book, A God in the Shed, is a semifinalist in the Goodreads Reader's Choice Awards in the horror category. In the horror category. I summon thee, demon hordes of the internet, and I beg for your blessing. Please go cast your vote for A God in the Shed at bit.ly slash horror swag, uh, H-O-R-R-O-R-S-W-A-G, and let the power of Diamond Club be heard. I make no secret of my love and devotion to Diamond Club, even mentioning Brian, Justin, in the commu- and the community in the book's acknowledgments. That's a fact. Uh, I credit you fine folks with a big part of my limited success. I love you guys. J.F. Dubo. Go, go, go. J.F. Dubo has been here since day one. Uh, he loves this community, and he's a burgeoning, amazing science fiction author. Let's make sure that he gets every benefit of knowing what community means by going to bit.ly slash horror swag, H-O-R-R-O-R-S-W-A-G. Hells to the Hor- yes. Horror swag is my favorite Riverdale character, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Ora says, hey there, so those handmade Diamond Club patches are pretty cool, right? And you like cool things, don't you? Well, have I got good news for you. I make lots of other cool, nerdy stuff, too. Patches, fleece hats and blankets, plushies, aprons, resin horns, steampunk accessories. If you need a gift for a hard-to-shop-for nerd or a pick-me-up to get yourself through the holidays, Danny Ora Cosplay. That's D-A-N-O, uh, sorry, D-A-N-I-O-R-A Cosplay play.com is the perfect place to start if you've got a fandom we can make you the perfect accessory to celebrate it tons of new items and limited custom order spots available starting black friday uh by the way uh she didn't say it in here but she implied it that's amy frost who did the hand-sewn diamond club patches we are selling on stickers or diaf so if you have one of those and i know many of you have them because i sold a shit ton of them uh, uh, go get more stuff from her because she's fucking amazing and she's done three orders of them now. Uh, and you can also still buy patches and stickers or GIAF. <laughs> anyway, uh, W. Scott Swan says, uh, greetings to everybody out there in Twitch land. Do you en- enjoy Twitch streams? Of course you do. Do you enjoy those Jackbox party pack games where you come up with silly, hilarious answers? Well, the Diamond Club community gets together every Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 Pacific, for Diamond Club game night over at twitch.tv slash wscottis1. Uh, the one is a number uh, where we play all these new release Jackbox party game, uh, sorry, Jackbox party pack four i like the They're idea that, theme- that jack bock is like the the chicken based alternative <laughs> like or if you're doing like in chicken run they'd be playing jack bock party games no you know, uh, uh, jack bock is johan sebastian's brother who deals drugs <laughs> jack bock <laughs> hey man this uh, is the jack bock party pack <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah the jack bock <laughs> party pack yeah, we got everything you need for the weekend uh, all right, so there are memes, inside jokes, pandering galore. Again, this is at twitch.tv slash uh, one number one, 
on Fridays at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 Pacific in, uh, in addition. On December 5th, join us for a special Tuesday night edition of Game Night right after Night Attack. Hey, man. Come to the dark side. We have cookies waiting for you. Also, Fitz needs you to die. Diamond Club salutes. Hey, man. W got us one. He doesn't like me talking about it, but this is what Johan wrote Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is really about. It's about <laughs> this diamond in the rough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jack Bach, you irascible scoundrel. Wait, wait, tall boy. Uh, again, uh, Diamond Time, that is where you can shout out your project. Just head on over to our subreddit right now. Uh, subscribe to it. It's where we all uh, hang out and talk. And shout out your projects right there at the sticky post every single week. We also gamble on movies in the movie draft minute. I wasn't entirely oh, ready for that. Sorry, one. Yeah, yeah, let me give a longer intro like I normally do. <laughs> the movie oh, oh, oh. Quick note at the top. We're going to be audio only for the time being. Oh. Uh, Matthew, the guy that handles the video side of things, recently suffered a death in the family. We'll be taking a break from doing the video portion. Uh, if you guys could do me a huge favor, though, go on Twitter, send some kind words to at BlenderMF, especially if you'd like the video side of things, uh, either this year, last year, or pretty much any year we've done video. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure he'd appreciate it, and I know I would. All right, thanks, guys. Welcome to Move Draft Minute, presented by CosmicRadio.tv for the week of November 6th, 2017. I'm your host, Roberto Viegas. Another week brings another set of movies, and this time, a rank change. Who came out on top? Let's go find out. Team Frog Pants are in sixth place, still waiting for the first film. Team Big and Tall is in fifth place, $111.0 million. Team Champions are in fourth place with a Bad Moms Chris Spring in $22.6 million, bringing the total to $132.7 million. Team V-Line is in third place, $145 million. Team Core Killers are in second place with Thor Ragnarok bringing in $130.9 million, bringing the total to $160.1 million. And in first place, $178.3 million. It's Team Jury. And that is your Movie Draft Minute for the week of November 6th, 2017. Man, you got that Coco action coming up soon. Coco's going to make some bucks, yeah? That that's a that's uh, a Pixar joint? I mean, you 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 think, right? Uh, I, mean, I think it's gotten about as much I think we are currently getting more publicity on the front page of Twitch than Coco is getting in their marketing push, but <laughs> Yeah, but also uh, Pixar just sort of equals two hundred million dollars. Period. Right? I mean, they, usually, have... yeah, yeah. Unless, doesn't, unless doesn't you matter. are uh, the good dinosaur, then then whoever yeah, whoever buys usually... Jedi wins. Well, I, I I don't know about that because I, do you think? Did do you, you think... see the numbers last time a big Star Wars movie came out? Because it absolutely destroyed everything. Sure, but but do you think this will do as well as the first one? I think it's going to do actually much better and it's going to get a higher repeated business because all of the scuttlebutt on Ryan Johnson's movie is it's a masterpiece. So, yeah, I expect it. OK, because it's not like a, a Star Wars movie, like a perfect, awesome, new, great thing. Like if that all comes to fruition, it's going to make more money than literally everything else combined. Did, uh, uh, th 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 this is something that I've always said with Mikey. or I agree with you, Mikey, is that the capacity for a great Star Wars movie is limitless. We don't know how much money that makes. There's no gauge for for that. Like we have only seen uh right. good, uh, appreciated but not like masterpiece level uh Star Wars movies. Since hey, Empire. Speaking obviously. of which, I'm so yeah. I'm so glad you're here, Mikey. Uh, the uh, period. That's all I want to say. No, uh, I'm so glad you're here because I would love to hear your take on Thor Ragnarok. Uh, I spent the entire movie with the biggest shit eating grin. And, and the second time I watched it the next day, I was half the time turning just to watch my daughter's faces during all of it. Uh, I had so, so much fun during it. Uh, what, how did you like it? I am so glad that Taika Waititi is now mainstream big name because like last year one of my favorite films of the year was hunt for the wilder people with sam neill which nobody saw and then i saw he's doing a third thor movie and i was like what um but not only it is it amazing one of the best marvel films i think it's in my head right now as good as like winter soldier i would go there like and winter soldier is up there um it it's perfect it's it's everything it needs to be it's funny it reboots thor into somebody whose movies we're actually looking forward to as yeah. opposed to the guy we weren't 
Um, I mean, it took the B list of B list and I brought them all the way to the top and somehow made its own Avengers movie out of that. It's it's great. Taika Waititi uh, uh, is God. Re- Revengers movie. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, th- I thought it was, uh, it was, it was fucking so good. And I went to go see it again on Monday because full uh, admission, I was too drunk to see it on Thursday when I decided to drink for four hours before the show. Uh, but I uh, loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it when I saw it yesterday afternoon. Not drunk. Well, a couple of beers. But uh, uh, it, was, uh, it was awesome. It was so, so, so good. And what I, I think Taika Waititi does kind of better than anybody is not sense and another plug for Mikey's shit, but go watch his Hot Fuzz uh, uh, movies with Mikey oh, that I just mean, came yeah, out. I have- what I loved about all of the scripts that he wrote with Simon Pegg was they uh, yeah. always introduced things in a joke and then paid it off later in the story and the plot. And the, Taika Waititi, to me, is operating at the closest to that level that we have seen since those first three uh, uh, Simon Pegg. Uh, Just ridiculous, Gil- ridiculously talented. I mean... Yeah. So one of the... It's interesting because one of the only criticisms I've heard is that, oh, it's too much of a comedy. I didn't want a comedy or whatever. But part of the reason it's comedic is because two characters, uh, this is something we stumbled across in our discussion on weird things, uh, two characters really have evolved over the course of the movies. The first time that we see Loki, certainly when we see him in the in the Avengers, he is a credible uh, a, a deeply disturbing villain, like right? like you. This guy wants to own the yeah. planet and rule and and be a god among men or whatever. And likewise, I want to rule it. Exactly. Yeah. He's 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 credible and 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 uh, evil. Whereas uh, Thor is is a big old stick in the mud, and it makes sense for him to. Right to evolve and have some of that Tony Stark rub off on him uh, for, wow, that was graphic, uh, <laughs> to, uh, over the over the course of their adventures together to where now he's sarcastic, he's like, yeah, I'm a badass, whatever, and, and playing with stuff, acting a little more Tony Stark, and it also makes sense for us as the audience to be hip to all of Loki's tricks, so of course he becomes a one-note uh, a, a imp instead of a credible well, but, threat. But also, what happens to Loki to me in the movie that the movie doesn't spell out for you, and I think a lesser movie would have made a bigger point of it, they would have actually had him say it, is that he got everything he wanted. He ruled Asgard. Yeah. And, like, ultimately, yeah. he doesn't fight Thor. He just kind of gives up, because ultimately, <laughs> like, he's seen that play a million times, and he's <laughs> kind of bored of it. Yeah, he's like, I saw a play on it, I ate some grapes on it, what else is there to do with it? <laughs> and, and, and so what you see of Loki this time is certainly him using his bullshit for survival instincts but i I don't think he has i mean again the biggest betrayal he pulls in the movie and we're just what don't spoil stuff you have people like freaking out about getting into spoilers okay so so uh yeah uh, (laughs) i won't spoil it more it's a great movie go see it (laughs) (laughs) uh speaking of spoilers i don't know how much we could talk about it but and you guys tell me if if this how caught up on mr robot are you justin nothing I haven't seen any of the movies. Because we stumbled across what sounded like just the dumbest theory ever. And we, last night on Cord Killers, we sort of like, hey, just for fun, let's try this on for size. And we kept stumbling across all these little things that hinted. Um, listen to spoiler in time. Yeah. Go to cordkillers.com and Thank listen you. to the Thank news. Thank you for stopping me time. before I regret what, what I'm doing here. There we, all right. So, yeah. Yeah. Yes, we're on the front page of Twitch. We have the largest audience that's ever watched us, so we're going to spoil <laughs> the number one movie in theaters and the number one movie for nerds. I stopped you from doing that, so I think <laughs> I should be on the front page of Twitch. You should. You, you are. should. Everybody should go watch uh, uh, Mikey's Twitch channel and his, and his YouTube. Hey, speaking of uh, which. Uh, let let's let's maybe wrap up the main show here and and certainly everybody who should see your stuff it's all at youtube.com slash movies with mikey or is that right no uh uh no, no you uh well you no, actually have to search we just did a switch over we've actually been losing subs pretty fast over like lost about a thousand over the last week if you can go sub to film joy just do a search for film joy and movies with mikey that would be very helpful for me please please okay. do it i'm gonna do that um, right hey, now hey, look, 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 you just heard what he said they lost about a thousand subs. We have one thousand six hundred and twenty-one <laughs> people watching us literally right now. So yeah, it's if still all six hundred of y'all motherfuckers that are probably already subbed went over there right now and subbed up, 
Boom. I'm doing He's it right now. Just for making Thank a hilarious new accounts, quiz right here on then... the show. Uh, there it is. Yep. And I am subscribed. Uh, movies nice. with Mikey. Uh, we're going to hang around and do the after show, but I guess we'll wrap up the show proper. Justin, what do we, yeah. we learn? Well, we learned that we'll be right back on the front page next week, y'all. So uh, uh, get ready for it. But uh, this has been an amazing, amazing, amazing show. Thank you so much to uh, Wait, Mikey. What, what One question? Time. Go real quick. I'm sorry. Have, where, have you ever been on the front page before this? No. No, that's no. the first night. So definitely it's because I showed up. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> like, no. Identity. Correlation is causality. We always say that. <laughs> oh, also, I'm, now that the music's paused, I can sneak in really quick. Uh, uh, new puzzle box, scamstuff.com. New deck of cards, uh, scamstuff.com. Scamstuff.com. All right, keep going. Uh, uh, and also, now that the music's paused again. <laughs> go for it, go for it. Jam uh, uh, slug, uh, jump, uh, joink. Uh, uh, Let's go. Uh, I, I'm live, live. If you live in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the uh, live politics, politics, politics show, November 18th at Shot Tower Coffee. That is uh, Shot Tower Coffee, November 18th uh, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Free show, $10 suggested donation. Come see me talk. Oh, anyway, the music's back no, 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 and I'm And I'm so glad that you brought that up because uh, a lot of people are talking about this. The new Outlaws Crimson is a fantastic variation on the original deck of cards. All of this can fit in the, the end of music. The music like a minute and a half. <laughs> it's the biggest uh, by size, the most complicated puzzle box with the most story we've ever done. It's the best thing. It's the most expensive thing, but it is $50 off right now. Uh, get it for Christmas because there's limited quantities in the pre-sale. I love you guys. Die in a fire. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And now that the music's paused, uh, yeah, I'm just going to be doing the oral history of the Monica Lewinsky scandal. Like, at the show. It's going to be really funny. I've been working on it for a while. Uh, you guys are going to have a great time. November 18th, Shot Tower Coffee. <laughs> Wait, I'm is that an intentional pun, the oral history of La Monica Lewinsky? No, Brian. <laughs> 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 See you next Tuesday. Night of fire. Night of fire. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack, night attack, I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>